so terrible. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the worst show on the internet. It's that time of day. It is 12 o'clock Central Standard Time here on a Wednesday. Full gruntle. Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. How's it going, Dan? Getting ready to uh, it's be a busy ass November. Yeah, yeah, really. I know. I understand. What'd you do yesterday for Halloween? Not a damn you're, thing. you're a bit, you are the biggest like uh, Scrooge. When it comes to the Halloween, the one thing I ever, I don't ask much, Dan. I really don't. I, <laughs> what? I don't ask a lot. <laughs> what? All I ask is, you know, for Dan to dress up for Halloween. I've only got that one out of eight years. I dress my dog up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, he is a good looking dog. He's a good looking dog. What's his name? Tank. Tank. Where'd you go with Tank? Uh, just because he's such a small, little, cute, little, funny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never imagined you getting a dog. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, man. He likes beer. And, uh, <laughs> hangs out, watches football and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's a football fan. Yeah, he loves it. Oh man. <laughs> he's not if he's a Giants fan. You're gonna. I mean, I mean, Giants fan. <laughs> well, yeah. What is your What is your football? What is what? Uh, what yeah, what I'm a Giants, Yankees, yeah. Rangers. Oh, you're the, you're the New York guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's either, from New York. It's either your Yankees, uh, Rangers, Giants, and Knicks. And then if you're in certain other parts of New York, you're Jets, Nets, Islanders, Mets, Mets. Yeah. What is, what is that? The Nets, the Mets? It's more of towards the Queens, <laughs> Long Island side. And then like, <laughs> when you get to the Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan side, you're more of the Yankee side. Really? Which one's, which one's a tougher area? Tougher? A- oh, I mean, all of them have their no fly zones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are parts of Brooklyn where the cops won't even go into the buildings at night. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, but even on Long Island, MS-13 is pretty big. In, yeah. in Remember that, that that one um, that one thing we were going to do where you, yes. you dro- I drop you off in the Chicago ghetto, you drop me off the New York ghetto? <laughs> escape, <laughs> escape, from- <laughs> escape from the slums. <laughs> Tell you, it's not the best tactic. Uh, How about we go live from both different locations? On well, the you know, <laughs> what, Dan, what Dan wanted to do was just run around naked. Well, Act you run crazy. around in your underwear, and you you put mud all over you, and you, you walk around like, <laughs> man, I will, uh, yo. I think you just get shot in Chicago regardless these days. They yeah. They're, they're, you they're know. just indiscriminately kill. <sighs> I don't know. I think I think I can garner some uh, sympathy. Some sympathy? Yeah. 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 I would drop you off at probably like uh, 75th and Stoney. Oh. That's a pretty, oh, no. 75th and Stoney or like 43rd and Prairie. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drop you in Queens on Flatbush Avenue in East New York. <laughs> oh, it's Flatbush. That's where really like, good Bushwick Bill grew up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I could make it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, it's like, uh, like they run like they run around with machetes. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're all that's like Jamaica, right? Yeah, Jamaica, it's a, yeah, it's very uh, very Rasta area. Rasta man, Rasta man. Well, you know, we're not gonna be on the uh, we're gonna we're not gonna be on the show next week, Dan. Why not? Let's well, make her birthday. Oh, We're yeah. gonna be at, like doing all oh, sorts of different shit. Yeah. No, oh, next week we will. Are we gonna be on? I thought I'm. I'm not gonna be on. Next week's only like the sixth and the seventh. Is it? I'm so fucked up on time. <laughs> Our whole old November. If you were a marine at Grunt Style, it is <laughs> travel November. <laughs> We're putting some serious points. We up. got uh, so this weekend. Brandon and I go into the River Warrior Sickly Hike in Huntington Beach, California. Nice, eh? nice. And then. Uh, then we uh, we're going to a wedding. You're going to Marine Corps Ball in Colorado. Colorado, yeah. Uh, we're going Vail. Yeah, Vail. We're actually uh, sponsored a wedding. The two Marines are getting married on the Marine Corps birthday. Yeah. Do you nice. do you ski, Dan? Uh, do I, New Yorkers ski? I used to snowboard every now and again. Yeah. I can ski, but I don't like snow or cold weather. Yeah. Or people. Yeah. I'll sit at the bar. <laughs> And stay warm. <laughs> <And> stay warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What then, that? There's a name for that. I forget what it's called. Lodge, I'm, not, I'm not a skier. Lodge loafer. Lodge loafer. Yeah, yeah. that would be me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Where you dress the part, you just never step into the snow. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that would be me. I did. I did go to um, so like or was it Park City a couple of years back? That's the first time I've ever hit the slopes. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was on the. We did those tubes. We did the family. The family. <laughs> oh, you got into like the life raft when they shot you down the ski thing. Yeah, it was great. Dude. It was great. <laughs> it was like seventy miles an hour. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> it was great seeing Henry like oh, flying God. down the mountain. He probably was hilarious. Just screaming his head off in joy. Yeah, so, anyways, and then uh, what? Siren Angel. They're going to uh, Illinois. 
Yeah. The corporate thing in Illinois. Oh, yeah. The, the, uh, we got the $20,000 uh, going out to yep. uh, three different events. We, we contacted everybody out, and uh, they all were in agreement to uh, split up the funds. Even somebody going to charity. For the, these, yep. That's why I love Marines, man. They said, you yep. know what? Uh, we love to party, but uh, let's not forget the boys yep. and the girls that uh, are no longer with us. So let's cut off some money for them. That's yep. great. Yep. It was uh, very, very, very nice to see our, our Marine Corps uh, supporter base out there all willing to uh, yeah. split the pie and everybody and and everybody have, all over the nation. We have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, got a couple games today, Dan. Oh God! <laughs> what, is this rigged like normal, normal, where Michael just makes it so you win every time? Uh, he's trying to get a raise or some not shit. Not today. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not participating today, Dan. Oh, okay. So you're lucky. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna color comment. Co- oh, commentate. How come I never get the color commentate? Because uh, <laughs> you're you're my muse, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So uh, yeah, we record. We got some record trivia. Oh, okay. We're going to put you up against a couple of the devil dogs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. And I've been out for a minute, a hot minute. Yeah. Uh, I think all of these More like a hot two decades. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were just hanging out with uh, one of your old dogs, though, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my sergeants from uh, back in the day. He's a contractor here yeah. in town because, you know, we don't have an immigration problem. So he may or may not be one of those people that sits on the bus as they bus uh, people that have entered the country that – weren't supposed to yeah. and uh ship them to the states that wanted to take them and, so uh, and they fly them back so. yeah cool. yeah yeah that's crazy it's crazy last couple fl- last couple flights out of san antonio it's been full it's a lot place. of gray sweatpants and sweatshirts yeah. and not in a good way but it's time yeah. of year <laughs> it's not the recruits it's, it's not, not the, recruits, the recruits and it's it is <laughs> it's a new term for uh gray sweatpants season <laughs> it's called <laughs> it's called sovereign state <laughs> No sovereignty, <laughs> no sovereignty sweats here. <laughs> so if you're in the airport and you see somebody dressed in all gray yeah, my, my with, hat. A, with a giant baggie full of paperwork, yeah. they're going to New York, Chicago, or LA. Yeah, yeah, that's really the only three areas. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. funny. So, uh, oh, should I tell the story? Maybe I'm not using any names. Well, <laughs> one of the people on the bus because they have to get surged and scanned and all that other stuff like literally tried to hide like a little dime bag of weed in his butt crack really right? and they caught it and like dude are you stupid you just got a free ride right getting a, a phone an apartment and a free bus ticket to where you want to go and you just fucked it all up now you go back right for a little dime bag yep man yeah weed <laughs> I mean, if Colorado was a sovereign state, right, right. I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy talk, man. Well, anyways, um, what else is going on? Anything else? Oh, uh, we got a big, possibly a big announcement in the next, within the next couple of days. Oh yeah, maybe. what's that? Okay. Can't say it yet. <laughs> Go give give some. Hints. We have one more thing on the docket where we're waiting for ink on paper. Oh, and, that yeah, and uh, that will complete the trifecta. Of awesomeness that we have accomplished. But 2024 is going to be a banger year. Oh, my God. It's going to be a banger year. It could be the best year ever. Probably. Yeah. Well, that's if we don't go to World War III. But let's, uh, all things aside, if if that doesn't happen, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Brandon came up with something cool that we should do. What's that? Because we're going to be on the road so much in 2024, we should make our own challenge coins. But they'll be in the shape of a milk carton with our face on it. <laughs> Have you seen us? Use discount code. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Right? <laughs> oh, man. If you find us out in the wild, we may or may not have discount codes on man. us at all times. Hops and lead. Dude. Yeah. He's talking. Peace talk? They've no, been... no. So it's Hops and lead says he's seen there's 15 people in San Antonio Airport. The purple bag, paperwork. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. A free phone and a free free plane ticket. Yeah. It's crazy. Who's funding it? Who's funding it? I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's it's a lot of money. So if I wanted to get to one of those cities for free, <laughs> can I just <laughs> go over to just the border and be like, just take a two-hour drive south? <laughs> yeah, find a coyote no, with no uh, with no passport. <laughs> <laughs> just get in the line. <laughs> Just ship my stuff be- and just beforehand. just walk through Wait. saying I don't speak English. Michael, that would save a lot of my budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No hablo inglés. 
<laughs> Just use the government programs. <laughs> I always wanted to see New York City. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Like uh, Chicago, uh, they're, um, like the, the migrant cities that are, that are popping up in the city of Chicago is out of control. Uh-huh. Out of control. Yeah. And it's getting real cold up there now. Didn't people see Scarface? <laughs> what part? I mean, all of it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't think that we make right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy sits on the Greyhound buses. Great. Have you ever been on the Greyhound bus from San Diego to Phoenix? Yeah, that's called Frontier Airlines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's there's some shady shit that happens. Oh, yeah. I, I did that ride many, many moons yeah. ago. It sits on the bus, and then they fly him back, and then he sits around and waits for the yeah. next bus. Which really been coming frequently. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy talk. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so Michael, what's going on today? All right, so we're going to educate our audience uh, by playing a game of Marine Corps. First trivia. of all, what the fuck that is that on your lip? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a dead caterpillar. That thing is, is getting quite bushy. <laughs> Can you grow the beard bushy. out of, back again? It's coming. But we'll see. Do you have a bald head? I've never seen you without a hat. <laughs> yeah. Michael's follically challenged like myself. It's like, uh, what is that, RoboCop with a, <laughs> with a mustache? <laughs> RoboCop with a mustache. <laughs> or Teddy KGB. Pay him his money. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um, my contribution to today's show is this right here. What the show's working? It's, okay? it's a it's about to go. Yeah. Oh, what is this? What is that? It's a Marine Corps recruitment office. Not with that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you are out of regs, sir. Hey, you look like Coast Guard right now. <laughs> I do like the, I do like the uh, the big EGA in the background there. That's that looks good in your crazy. office. Yeah, no, right. Hmm. That was the original intent, but uh, the, the painter. I think we need. I guess I didn't communicate that enough. What part of giant nice EGA <laughs> on my wall did he mess up? It's all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. That's a nice background. It's a nice background. Although know, it's a stole of valor. Oh, I'm not claiming to be one. <laughs> Just thought it would enhance the mood. We should make Michael go into a recruiting office. We should. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Undercover? Yes. Undercover? Yeah. Undercover? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then... Oh, we'll dude. call it undercover, uh, undercover <laughs> blunder. <laughs> and next thing you know, he's really signed up. And he's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and throw his ass on a bus. That would be my luck. Uh, you know, well, we should also play the. Uh, we should also play the. Um, what's that? One of these games coming up uh, is the uh, selective service game. Oh yeah! Like guess your guess your draft number. <laughs> or or we we should make one of those turn a helmet into one of those Harry Potter hats that picks your oh, house. Oh yeah you. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> that would be cool. What are, I can't believe we missed out on sponsor a boot. We need a, we need to we, do Yeah, I know. My son, it was supposed to be my son, but he didn't want to play. Yeah, because he knows. Because <laughs> he knows. He's, I, I, I was going to send that, the Terminator. Or what was that? The, the, what's, the, what's the big? The what? Gigantor? The Gigantor. Dude. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the SS Gigantor? The, it's the Brutalizer. That's the what brutalizer. it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good to send it that with a note in a box saying, I found this. I, I was aghast, son. I found this under your bed. <laughs> and felt that you needed. It. We were turning your room into my office, and uh, right, we found we found this guy, and it smells. <laughs> <laughs> spray fart spray on it. Oh god, yeah. So yeah, we need to sponsor a boot though. One of these days. So if you're having, if you have a kid or a nephew or a niece or son, brother, daughter, dog, whatever, yeah. and uh, they're about to go to boot camp, let us uh, send us a message, and maybe we'll we will sponsor a boot. Yeah, send it to send it to Michael. We'll send care packages. Yeah, once a month. We'll, we'll send updates, <laughs> advice. I saw it. Advice do. from Dan. That I would be interesting. Girls to look. You show your manliness and your toughness by yelling back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if you strike a drill instructor, you get an extra package. Oh wow! Of goodies like treats or we'll stuff s- for the break. We'll send the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus 
Well, because everybody says that, you know, no drone sucks. Go talk to me that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Until you get there. Right. And you're like, your, first your, night, your you're like, butthole what? sucking buttermilk because <laughs> you, you lay down in Iraq that first night, you're like, what the fuck did I do? Yeah. 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 After the tornado comes through with all your shit. No, oh, dude. Mm. Uh, I, I, much of the, my experience is a blur. I don't. Uh, I remember. I remember spending most of my time on quarter deck. Yeah, I, got, I was a shit talking. I got you either smart or strong. When I walked out of there, strong as yeah. Far. I was. A, I, yeah, I, I. I did a lot of PT. Yeah, <laughs> you love training. Would they allow like a camera crew to follow somebody going through boot camp? I don't or do think they so. No. Push back on that. No. Okay. <laughs> That'd be funny though. I was at I, I did get to, uh, to go to Paris Island not too long ago, and I I have to show some Michael next show. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that'd be perfect. We'll show a couple of clips from me at uh, Paris Island. I visited every place that the drill instructors slaughtered me at. <laughs> so basically, you saw most of <laughs> saw most of the base. <laughs> yeah, the only place they wouldn't let me go was weapons training battalion. Mm. Yeah. Go out of Starlight Range. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, man, it brought back some memories, though. That place is still, you know, that place is still being run by steam. Really? What is the, what is the Navy's infatuation with steam? It's how they transfer water. <laughs> they did that on Lejeune, too. All those pipes that run on, yeah. they steam it, then they, then they burn it all around, then they condense it, and that's what you're drinking. Yeah, yeah. That's healthy. It's basically, fucking shit water from 1950s <laughs> era freaking steam pipes because somebody thought that would be a better option. <laughs> Dumbasses. All right. All right almost let's... got a Dan rant there. Almost. Almost. You went to Paris Island too. Yeah. 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 Where real, real Marines are made. You know, I've been, I've, I had to do some of the, the hills in, uh, in uh, California when I uh, OJ'd. And uh, I didn't really, I didn't see much difference. Like sure, you got a couple hills, man, but uh, that doesn't make Marines. No, I mean being able to see the mall from <laughs> your parade deck, right. the, the the planes, <laughs> yeah, the planes, and everything, and the beach. Yeah, yeah, we got stories. Only one man's made it off this island. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he came the, back to be a swim instructor. The blacked out windows, right? I remember on the plane ride uh, going home, it was like a fifteen minute drive. Yeah. Like, what the fuck did we do for three hours on this goddamn bus? Yeah, yeah. They drive you around. They try to yeah. disorient you and shit. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, Michael. I think we've wasted enough time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I am going to ask the question, and the audience and you two are going to determine whether the statement is true or false. Okay. And this is just uh, Marine Corps trivia. There's a little history in there just for an education state and for us to have fun. So I'll start with the first one. Okay. General James Mattis was known for his intellectualism and carried a personal copy of the meditations by Marcus Aurelius throughout his deployment. Mm. True or false? Mm. He seems like the guy. I'll go with true. I'll go with nerd. <laughs> <laughs> He's the warrior monk. The, warrior the monk answer too. is true. Oh, okay. Put that. your uh, answers in the comments too. I'm giving yeah. you a chance to win a gift card. Uh, Lieutenant. You got to share though. You got to share. Button. Smash that share button. No, no share, no win. No share. Lieutenant General Louis Chasty Puller is the most decorated Marine in history and is best known for his leadership during the Korean War. Fucking wait. Pump the brakes, Michael. Chesty. It's Chesty fucking Puller. Louis J. God. Puller. San Antonio education. Sorry, guys. (laughs) Bro, you worked here for two fucking years. You should know it. It's a shrine of them. By the lunchroom. What's up, Tyler? (laughs) True or false? <laughs> what, what was the question? I, I couldn't hear it. You, you. Lieutenant General Louis Chesty <laughs> Pooler is okay. the most decorated Marine in Don't history. you ever say Louis again. Uh, I would say that's true. It's true. It's true. So don't ever say his first name. Okay. I'm learning something here. Yeah. <laughs> General probably. John A. Lejeune is often referred to as the greatest of all leathernecks and was the first Marine officer to hold an official large-scale birthday celebration for the corpse on November 10th. Core. Core. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Is this your first time, Michael? Yes. I'm about to come over there and drop kick you through the universe. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's try it next time leave the ass off for me. (laughs) Y'all got some damn corpse up here? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> when civilians read. <laughs> All right, try to get from the top, sir. General John A. Lejeune is often referred to as the greatest of all leathernecks and was the first Marine officer to hold an off official large-scale birthday celebration for the Corps on November 10th, 1921. All right, let's, let's give this one to the, to the community. I think we should be asking Michael and like civilians these questions. We yeah. already know. We know these answers. Right. We, should, we need to spin the table. And then they need to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> Hazed. <laughs> It's not hazy if they sign a release for it. Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> During World War I, German soldiers called the Marines to fill Hondin <laughs> or mountain dogs because yes. of the, their fierce fighting spirit. Hondin. Where do you get Hondin? People Hunden. <laughs> There's no two E's. It's not Hondin. To fail Hondin. <laughs> Are you German? <laughs> the, German soldiers a, called the Marines. With a touch of Indian. Tufel <laughs> <laughs> oh. no. Tufel Hunden. What was the question? <laughs> German soldiers called the Marines, what you just said, <laughs> or mountain dogs because of their fierce fighting spirit. I've never heard mountain dogs. False. Before. It's devil dogs. Yeah. Good job, Dan. Which are great in the freezer, too, by the way. What? Devil dogs? Yeah. Snack treat. Oh, oh, oh! I've never had that. Put them in the freezer. Change what is the devil? What is the devil? Oh. It's a it's a chocolate. It's like a sandwich with cream in it. Oh, oh, those the mm -hmm, the little debbies. Freeze them. Yeah, yeah. It's like little hockey pucks. <laughs> oh, those <laughs> are biscuits. Ring those are ring yeah, yeah. Gotcha. The Marine Corps <laughs> silent drill platoon performs without any musical accompaniment. True. True. It's, that's why it's called the fucking <laughs> silent drill team. <laughs> Alex said this fucking nasty. <laughs> oh, Alex, you are a winner today. Right, right. Get this man a $25 gift card. Get this man a $25 gift, man a $25 gift card. <laughs> I'm uh, reading in the shadows. Alex Curry. The <laughs> yeah. He reads in the shadows, but he prints everything in black. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, there is only one Marine Corps recruit depot located in San Diego, California. I would say that's true if it was Paris Island uh, because uh, Mar anywhere else is just less. It's like, it's like ROTC. <laughs> it's ROTC. <laughs> you, you became an officer through ROTC. Right. It's, a, it's like, uh, it's like 13, day, 13 weeks at the Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Camp Love Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh great we're doing this right before i go to california this weekend <laughs> uh, hey just facts are facts man i mean you know it yeah all yeah. right two more any helicopter that carries the president of the united states is called marine one it's the fucking president present there's a present <laughs> i said president no you, you didn't. said present <laughs> bro regardless of who is piloting it no you didn't you said present I was like, what present? We There's three syllables. What do we drop? President. <laughs> oh, my God. You obviously did not have hooked on phonics at the compound with growing up. Did you? <laughs> All right. What was the, what the question is? Uh, Any helicopter that carries the president of the United States is called Marine One, regardless of who is piloting it. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know the answer. Mm, I really that's don't know a yes, the true. False. The only called Marine One when a Marine pilot is at the controls. Oh. It's a call sign. Oh, that's good. That's no. good. What, if, what if it's an Army pilot? Army One. Is it? Army, Army of One. Force One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they bring that back too. It is. It be went, all you can be is back. Be all you can be. Well, you know, they, well, they're deep. They're reaching deep because uh, <laughs> they just can't get it. They just can't get it. Hey, you know, the Marine Corps is the only one that's uh, like close to hitting numbers. What's up with the Marine Corps Commandant? I heard he's really sick. I heard he's a badass, though. Yeah, but something happened to him. Uh, he's he had to get into uh, like some surgery or something. I don't know. They probably poisoned him because he spoke his mind. Oh, no, that's they true. He to wants be. to be a warrior. They're yeah. like, no, no, no commandant. Got to be nice. <laughs> got to be nice to the people before we send you to go kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Like, what's what's wrong with having a warrior as a leader? Well, you know. Well, I got heckled. I got heckled. 
I, I, I got heckled at this uh, psychedelic concert I was at over the weekend. Did you really? Yeah, why? because uh, you know, I was talking about the brand and you know, why we are you know, in, involved in the, com- in the conversation, psychedelic conversation. And this guy got up and started like saying, you know, uh, those cross rifles are nothing but a, a symbol of the colonizer, blah, 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 dude, blue, blue. He's just going off on me. It's you should weird. have said you're welcome for your freedom. <laughs> well, you know, I've learned not to argue with idiots. I, I prefer arguing with idiots. <laughs> I, don't, I feel I like do I it. have the uh, upper advantage. I don't have the stamina. I do. It's pure <laughs> entertainment on my end because I really don't give a fuck the outcome. <laughs> wow, you won the debate. You're yeah. still... I, I eventually said, uh, well, I'm up here. You're down there. <laughs> Sit <Dern>. down. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Kind sir, before I stab you in the, <clears throat> in the face. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> All right. One more, and then we'll transition to our next activity. The eagle, globe, and anchor symbol represents the Marine Corps' commitment to space space exploration. There are space marines now. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. There's a detachment within the Marine Corps that, that works with the Space Force. They're called Space Marines. Dude, the Space Force Just is saying. nothing but an intergalactic working party. All they do is track trash. I'm just saying they're Space Marines now. So um, we can expect, if there are aliens, Marines are having sex with them. (laughs) (laughs) We are, uh, you know, crossing the uh, intergalactic divide. No, because we weren't even involved in space when that came to fruition. (laughs) What means land, sea, and air. And space. space. And space. No, not the EGA. No, they're, they're going to have to put one now because we're Space Marines. What are they, they going to add? EGA uh, and a little baby fucking alien? That's <laughs> a fucking high and tight? Like a face sucker <laughs> yeah. on the eagle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm surprised that eagle didn't get pregnant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well. <laughs> All right. What's next? Come on. All right, so we are going to transition to a game called What's Behind Me. Oh, God. Yes. Nothing, never mind. <laughs> What's what? Behind Me. What's Behind Me. Right. So with that game, Tim, you'll be moderating, color commentating. JD and Dan will sit, uh, face a blue screen. Sarah, Sarah, she's been sitting in front of you for Sarah. 40 fucking minutes. You want to mispronounce her name at all? It's Sarah with an H. <laughs> Sarah, as we call. It. So, do I need my ears or no? Yeah. Right, so, what, what's what are we doing with this game? So, they're going to have a background, and uh, one has to describe the background to another. Other? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, but you can't really say what it is. It's like uh, it's like it's like pyramid, but yeah. Do I sit here? Yes. Oh. How are you going to see? Well, it? it's, it's going to be on the screen. What I'm going to full screen it. The screen in front of you. This is poorly planned. <laughs> if you were ever in charge of any operation whatsoever, everyone would die. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right Welcome back to your Minute of Violence. Today we're exploring McMath and combatives in general. I know you testosterone-fueled, throat-ripping mother lovers want to immediately go into a hog measuring contest about which close quarters combat system is best. There are a lot out there. For example, Krav Maga, which is Hebrew for f*** you. But modern U.S. military hand-to-hand styles are basically a buffet line of whoop-ass adapted from just about everything. The origins of what we consider martial arts are generally from the Far East. For example, the Japanese began jiu-jitsu, the Brazilians compiled it into BJJ, and the Pentagon was like, well, Krav Maga and BJJ seems good for killing. How do we combine that and about 50 other fighting styles? Let's teach a bunch of highly motivated violence-fueled apes how to rip balls off. Thus was born the Semper Fu, which we'll continue to explore in weeks to come. Oh my god. No, you can't see that. <laughs> Move over, Dan. This mic isn't even on. All right, no. The mic is on. Oh, oh, now it's on. Now it's on. All right. Oh, that's a good that's a good over the shoulder right there. <laughs> He's just like whispering something in your ear. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Okay, that gets it. I don't that's, that's fine. I stopped asking questions on the show. All right. So uh here's the game. 
Uh, Dan and Sarah with an H are going to be playing Guess What's Behind My Back. And uh, one has to describe the scene without saying what the scene is, while the other takes guesses, right? Is that, that's pretty much what it is, right, Michael? Yep. So, Blue screen, I win. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I'm describing this? Yes. yes. <laughs> what? Oh, I have to describe this? Wait a minute. How is Sarah playing? Oh, so I'm describing it for them? Oh, man. these. I tell you what. My, Dan, these rules are fucked. <laughs> All right. So, Dan, I guess I'm uh, describing the scene to you. It is, uh, it's, got, it's got a guy in it. Okay. And uh, he is, he, he's pretty well known. Military Pretty, or non-military? He's a non-military guy. Okay. Non-military guy. Uh, made the news quite some time ago and just recently. Um, he's a bit of a, you know, you know, uh, likes, to, likes to be in public, likes to show himself in public. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman is correct. Yes. Is it really? <laughs> Get out of here. That's That's just okay. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. All right, we'll go to Sarah. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this goes. All right, Sarah with an H. Here we go. Um, this is not time by any standard, is it? Just No. no. Okay, Okay. here we go. Uh, he's, he's, he's an awful looking man. Uh, <laughs> he's probably like five foot one. He's a midget. <laughs> uh, there's a meme about him that's going around. He's on a popular television show. About a couple couple kids that own a bar. It's on FX. Ooh, uh, Danny DeVito? Nailed it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I started blasting. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's good. This Oh, this takes me back. <laughs> this takes me back. All right. So um, this is a, a hobby that, uh, that I started doing recently, Dan. Um, Painting. No, no. Uh, it's uh, it's about focus. It's about um, you know holding holding position. A monk <laughs> meditation. <laughs> oh, yoga. Yoga. Yeah, yeah. Remember when we did the namaste? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's Tim oh, doing yoga poses. It's Tim doing yoga. All right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know this. Oh, I know this show. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, pretty popular movie. Um, it's got uh, uh, the weird father that with the with the caterpillar eyebrows. Just a weird dude. He's in. <laughs> okay. He's been in weird movies yeah, since John Candy. About. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, it's got the awkward the awkward kid that you want to punch in the face. Like you really. You really want to destroy this dude. He's a, he's just a piece of shit. Sounds personal, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and uh, he's he's sexually deprived. Um, there's one particular scene that uh, he uh, he accosts an apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> um, American Pie. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's two to two. It's two to two. All right. Oh, 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 Dan. All right. <laughs> All right. This is uh, this is great. Um, child childhood star. Childhood star. Uh, grew up in the Disneyland, uh, Disney Disney universe. Um, may have dated one of the the big the big the big heads. Uh, Brittany. Maybe maybe it was a kid. Justin Timberlake. No, no, no. Um, he's a singer. Dancer we had a had a big big show on uh, on the, uh, the Mickey Mouse Channel that you probably watched when you were a kid. You watch that crap. Latest latest movie is one of the uh, biggest box office hits of all time. Oh oh, it's the dude that plays that idiot that plays uh, Josh. Uh, no, what his name? Ryan Gosling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Ryan Gosling. And what movie? What oh, movie? let me guess. Fucking Barbie. Barbie. 
uh, man, I could not find that uh, horseshoe uh, horse medallion anywhere for the for the outfit. Should have had uh, what's his name? Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, all right. We just beat the shit out of Michael over this. <laughs> uh, you know, he's he represents the Marine Corps. Uh, like when uh, you're doing pull-ups, you do like an extra one for this person. You might, you might, uh, okay, uh, his okay. son, his son was, uh, in, in the Marine Corps as well. Got fucked up in Vietnam. Okay. So chest, chesty puller, chesty puller. Okay. Yeah. Not Lou, right. not Lewis, not Lewis, not Lewis. chesty. <laughs> See, we're learning today. <laughs> Michael, you're going to be quizzed on this next week. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, Dan, Dan, uh, the world, the world took a shit when one of this dude's ancestors was killed recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The world went sideways, man. Like you and you, you, you even made an appearance one time as, as this creature, his, his relative, um, uh, you know, might've been seen. Bigfoot. In, no. Uh, same vein, though. Harambe. <laughs> it is. It, I'm, I'm referencing Harambe, but it is the the creature that climbed the. Oh, Godzilla! Uh, no, um... <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla. No, Godzilla. It's, uh, it's uh, King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. You get, have you guys seen the uh, the previous for Godzilla one? Oh no. Oh, yes. oh oh man, that's that looks really good. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> So we're tied uh, right this, now. Yeah, right? you guys are tied. Okay. You guys are tied. I'm going to make this one okay. pretty difficult. All right. Uh, right now, this guy uh, has done so much cocaine <laughs> <laughs> that um, he can no longer act. Um, you know, he uh, started out as a detective on television. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Detective on TV. Uh, he's got emerald green eyes. Uh, I don't really believe this. It's the, well, it's the second greatest Christmas movie of all time. The actor. Okay. Um, what other movies has he been in? What other movies has he been in? Ooh, nothing really comes to mind. <laughs> nothing really comes to mind. What's his main occupation? You said his main occupation. Okay. His main occupation. Um, well, he 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 did do about fifty movies in the quarter of like two months because um, he needed to pay down his debt. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, okay. A- uh, he he threw a famous German off a building. Can I like phone a friend or something? <laughs> <laughs> Hans. Hans Gruber. Does, he that is name, bald does that name make a, a dent to in you? Hans Gruber. Um, there might be. There might be a. We might even sell a shirt that references this well, particular scene. I, I know scene. the movie. I just don't know the actor. I don't know the name of the person. I don't think. Sounds like Spruce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bruce Willis. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you know he can actually also play the harmonica like really crazy? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah not, yeah, anymore. Yeah, not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a half point. <laughs> actually, he probably could still play the harmonica. Oh, okay. Here's... Just it's called breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh boy! All right, so uh, Sarah with an H is is leading. This is this is make it or break it, Dan. All right, what's a, what's a good way of talking about this guy? Uh, in in real life, in real life, this guy holds a uh, a physics degree. That doesn't <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, when standing next to each other, there's like a whole person's difference in height. Andre the Giant. No. Uh, he, let's see. Is he an actor? It's an actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely an actor. Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, 
No. Uh, he's only like, no, well, he's like 6'2". Um, let's see. Mm, big, 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 big during the 80s. Um, you know, came, you know, it was really important around the time that the United States and uh, the Russians were playing hockey. Uh, he might have, it might have, it might have beat the piss out of a Philadelphian Italian. Like, oh, I know. <laughs> it's all wondering. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Our communities depend on the bravery and commitment of our law enforcement, firefighters, and military personnel. They are more than a uniform. They are living, breathing Americans who answer the call to serve. At Grunstyle, we proudly support all those who serve with real action through our community events, give back initiatives, and donations.